Okay, everyone, I've decided to go again and, and uh, resume with my card shark season. But this time I have two new Skype guests, other than Mark, my returning champion, who has a two game winning total of $22,400. I also have Jay Van Diesel and Ready Unknown Fox. Yo. And, J and Mark has let's take on Ready Unknown Fox for the very first time. And I want to officially welcome Jay to Card Sharks. And, um, Thank you. And you each will answer a series of toss-up questions, high or low. Whoever is the closest, higher or lower, gets to play their cards. First of best of three games. First of two games. First of two wins. Gets to go to the money cards for who knows how much. So, Mark, are you ready to go? I'm ready. Jay, are you ready? I am ready. All right. First question always goes to the champion, and that's Mr. Mark. Mark, we asked 100 women who watched the Tonight Show in bed, and we asked them, would you like to have your husband on the show and Carson in bed? How many of these women said they would like to have their husband on the show? Um, I'll say 68. 68 of 100 women that watched said they would like to have their husband on the show and Carson in bed. Jay, do you think that's higher or lower than 68, as Mark said? Hmm. I'm probably going to say it's a little bit lower. He says lower. Jay, if it is lower, you play your cards. Mark, if it's 68 or higher, you play yours. The actual number of women would like to have their husband on the show is 16. It is much lower. 1-6. So, Jay, you win the question. Your card is an ace. <laughs> lower. Lower than an ace, a jack. Lower than a jack? No. Oh no, it's a queen. Back to that back to that ace. Mark, a free shot for you, but you have to play this card. It's a nine. Lower. Lower than a nine? No. It's another nine, so no help there. Ooh. Next question goes to Jay. Alright. <clears throat> Jay, we asked one hundred stewardesses. That's the female attend that's the female flight attendants. And we ask them, when a male passenger flirts with you, do you get annoyed? How many of these stewardesses said, yes, they do get annoyed when a male passenger flirts with her? Hmm. I'm going to say about 36. 36 of 100 stewardesses said they get annoyed when a male passenger flirts with her. Mark, higher or lower than 36? Um... A little bit higher. He says higher. The actual number of these stewardesses who would be annoyed if a male passenger flirted with her is 38. It is just a little higher by two. Ooh. So Mark gets spotted exactly right there, Jay. So wow. Mark gets it on. So Mark gets the nine, and Mark, you have your nine. Uh, let's change that nine. When please. you win the question, you can change the base card, and the nine is now another nine. Oh, jeez. Nasty cards today. <sighs> Lower. Lower than a nine? It's a queen. Oh. Jay, a free shot for you. You have to play your ace. All right, I'll go lower. Okay, lower than an ace? It's a jack. You can freeze it any time you wish to, and he says lower. It's a seven. I'll freeze. Freezing on the seven, not give, and putting you two cards away from game number one. And this third question goes to Mark. Mark, we asked 100 commercial airline pilots. Was your car driver's license at one time revoked? How many of these commercial airline pilots said yes, their driver's license was at one time revoked? Um, I'll go with 47 of them. 47 of 100 commercial airline pilots said their car driver's license was revoked at one time. And Jay, higher or lower than 47? I feel like it's a little bit lower. Going lower. The actual number of these commercial airline pilots said their car driver's license was revoked at one time is... Five! It is much lower. Just five of them. What? Jay, you have your seven. You can play it or change it. I like to change. All right. When you win the question, you can change the base card, and the seven is now another seven. Ooh. 
Let's go lower. Okay, lower than a seven? It's a five. Higher. For the first game of the match, higher? No. Oh no, it's a four. Back to that seven. Mark, a free shot for you, but you have to play your nine. Uh, third time's gotta be the charm. Lower. Lower than a nine? It's a six. Freezing on the six. This is the fourth and final question, so it must win on this play of the cards. Control is important, and the question goes to Jay. Alright. Jay, our surveyor, went down to Paris, France, where he surveyed 100 people. And we asked them, have you eaten a McDonald's hamburger? How many of these pair of people in Paris said yes, they have eaten a McDonald's hamburger? That's got to be somewhat low, so I'm going to say about 25. 25 of 100 people in Paris said they've eaten the McDonald's hamburger. Mark, higher or lower than 25? 25. I don't think I was ever in at a McDonald's when I went to Paris, France one time. But I have had McDonald's hamburgers lots of times, so I'll say higher. He says higher. The actual number of these people in Paris said they've eaten a McDonald's hamburger is... 34. It is just a little higher by 9. All right, Mark, here's the deal. You have a base card of a 6. You need three cards for the first game. Jay, with a base card of a 7, needs two cards. You can change your 6 or play it, or you, have, or you can pass to Jay, and he'll have no choice but to play off his 7. Okay, this is where a little thing called strategy... I apologize about that, guys. The camera shut off on me. And Mark decided to pass off the play to Jay. And Jay, you must play your seven. You cannot freeze on this since this is the last play of the cards. You must play your seven. All right. And we will go lower. Lower than a seven? No. Oh, no. A ten. And Mark takes game number one. What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? And it looks like you, Kirk G-Man 2, has rejoined us. <laughs> kind of audio was really cut out on Mark's side. But anyways, round number two is up now. And Mark, that question is yours. Mark, we asked 100 married men, in a marriage, is it the man's role to make all the really <coughs> big decisions? How many of these married men said, yes, it is the man's role? Uh, Mark, I didn't catch that. Oh, it looks like. Mm. Looks like we're having some technical difficulties here. Working now? Yeah, yeah, that's working on mine. Okay. Now we got it figured out. And Mark, I'll repeat the question again. We asked 100 married men. In a marriage, is it the man's role to make all the really big decisions? How many of these married men said, yes, it is the man's role? Uh, I'll go with 52. 52 of 100 married men. Oops, I'm not in there yet. There we are. 52 of 100 married men said it is the man's role in a marriage to make all the really big decisions. Jay, higher or lower than 52? I feel like it's a little bit lower. He says lower. The actual number of these married men has said it is the man's role in a marriage to make all the really big decisions is... Oh! Oh! Did I get it exactly right? Yes, you did, Mark! That's 500 bucks for you, and your base card is a 10. Uh, let's change the 10. When you win the question, you can change the base card, and the 10 is now... Another 10. Ooh, uh, lower. Lower than a 10? An eight. Seven plus one. Freezing on the eight. Not giving Jay a chance. 
But Jay, the next question goes to you. Got it. Jay, we asked 100 married men, would you be willing to have a baby if science found a way? How many of these married men said yes, they would be willing to have a baby if science found a way? That's kind of, that probably has to be a low number. So I'm going to say about 13. 13 of 100 married men said they would be willing to have a baby if science found a way. Mark, higher or lower than 13? Higher, please. He says higher. <laughs> the actual number of these married men would be willing to have a baby if science found a way is... 17! It is higher just by 4. Mark, you have your 8. 7 plus 1. Uh, let's freeze. I mean, change that 8. Alright, when you win the question, you can change the base card, as I said earlier. It's a 4! Alright, higher. Higher than a 4. A 6. Freeze. Did you say, uh, freeze? Freeze, yeah. Okay, freeze on the 6. Not giving get Jay a chance at the cards. Third question goes to Mark. Hmm. Mark, we asked 100 fifth grade boys. If you were a policeman and you gave a driver a speeding ticket, but the speeder was your dad, would you give him a ticket? How many of these fifth grade boys said they would give their own dad a speeding ticket? Well, I'm sure the dad would probably be upset if they got a ticket from their own son. <laughs> But nonetheless, the law is the law, 72. 72 of 100 fifth grade boys said they would give their own dad a speeding ticket if they were a policeman. Jer Jerry, uh, J Jay higher or lower than 72? I'm getting my things mixed up. Jay, uh, I'd Jay. say it's a little bit lower. He says lower. The action number of these fifth graders, fifth grade boys would give their own dad a speeding ticket is... 68, it is just a little lower, by four. And Jay, you finally get a chance to play your cards. Your base card is an eight. Seven plus one, you are free to change it if you wish to. I wish to change it. Okay. Can we make a good change here? The eight is now... An eighth! Lower. Lower than an eighth. A four. Higher. Higher than a four. A jack. Lower. Lower than a jack. It's a six. Freeze. All right, freeze it on the six, putting you one card away from game number two. This is the fourth and final question, so I must win on this play of the cards. And that question goes to you, Jay. All right. Jay, we asked 100 people who live in populations of 10,000 or less. And we asked them, do you keep the front door unlocked at night? How many of these people said yes, they do keep the front door unlocked at night? Hmm... Well, it's basically 10,000 or less. So, I'm going to say about 42. 42? Yes. 42 of 100 people living in populations of 10,000 or less said they do keep the front door unlocked at night. A uh, mark higher or lower than 42? Um, a little bit higher. He says higher. The actual number of these people who keep the front door unlocked at night is... 22. It is lower, not higher. All right, Jay, here's the deal. You have a base card of a 6. You can change the 6 or play it. You need one card for game number 2. Mark with a base card of a 6, needs who also has a base card of a 6, needs two cards. But Jay, you can change your 6, or you can play it, or you can pass it to Mark. I'm going to play it. All right, you want to you wanna keep the 6 or change it? Um, I'm going to change it. All right. Changing the six. Now, Jay, you must play this card. It's an eight. Seven plus one. This will decide it. I will go lower. To tie up the match. Lower than an eight. It's a seven. And Jay has made it one to one. All right. Good job, Jay. Thanks. So in this round, only three cards will be dealt out. Whoever wins this gets to go to the money cards for who knows how much. And the first question of round three goes to Mark. Uh-huh. Mark, we asked 116-year-old boys. 
have you had a crush on one of your teachers? How many of these 16-year-old boys said yes, they have had a crush on one of their teachers? Oh my god. Well, fellas, I hate to break your bubble, but I'm 16 years old right here, and it has actually happened to me. Uh, so, Gary, uh, what do you think I should go with? Well, since my personal view, since the question's actually backed with me, um, I'm going to go with um, a rare number. For my best suggestion for you would be around the, the high 50s and the low 60s. Alright, uh, let's try 59. 59 of 116 year old boys said they have a, said they have had a crush on one of their teachers. Jay, higher or lower than 59? I'm gonna go a little bit lower. Going lower. The actual number of these 16 year old boys said they had a crush on their teacher is... 40! It is lower! Oh. Jay, your base card is a jack. I will change it. Alright, change in the jack. No harm there. The change is a five. Higher. Higher than a five? It's a queen. Lower. For the championship, lower? No. Oh no, it's an ace. Oh. As my watch is 12 noon on Friday, February 8th, 2013. Mark, your card is a jack. You must play it. Lower. Lower than a jack? It's a six. I will freeze it right there. Freeze it on the six. Second question goes to Jay. Alright. Jay, we found 100 mothers of 10 or more children. And we asked them, Did you discover the hot water was all used up before taking a bath or a shower? How many of these mothers said yes, they discovered the hot water was all used up? Hmm. I feel like it's somewhere in the mid-40s. So I'm going to say about 47. 47 of 100 mothers of 10 or more said they discovered the hot water was all used up before taking a bath or a shower. Mark higher or lower than 47? Uh, I'll go a little bit higher. He says higher. The action over these mothers of 10 who have discovered the hot water is all used up is... 26. It is lower, not higher. Jay, you have your 5. And I will go higher. Higher than a 5? It's a 9. And I will be. Freeze down the 9. Putting you one card away. The third and final question, so I must run on the play of the cards. And the question... Goes to Mark. Mark, we asked 100 people, have you refused to speak to a family member for one year? How many of these people said yes, they have refused to speak to a family member for a year? Oh boy, well, I don't recall that ever happening with me. So I'm kind of uh, neutral on this, but I will, I'll go up the, right up the middle at half, 50. Five zero. Five zero. Fifty of 100 people said they have refused to speak to a family member for a year. Jay, higher or lower than 50? I will say it is lower. He says lower. The actual number of people that have refused to speak to a family member for a year is... 18. It is much lower. Alright, Jay, here's the deal. You have a base card of a 9. Mark has a 6. You both need one card for this game. You can play the 9 or change it, or you can pass it to Mark and he has to play a 6. What's it going to be, Jay? Hmm. It's strategy time. Mark, take your six. He's passing it to Mark. Mark, one shot. You're either going to lose your title, or you're going to keep it. Okay. Oh, boy. Oh, I hate these little ones. Oh, oh higher. For the championship, higher... Oh no, it's a five, and Jay is the new champion. <laughs> well, you tried, but what the hell? So Jay is the new champion. He'll go to the money cards for the first time.
Mark, you are leaving us with $23,000. I thank you for joining us. And now we go to the money cards with with Ready Unknown Fox. And Jay will start you at the bottom row of $400 of betting money. Bet right across three cards. Moving to the second row, giving $900 of betting money. Bet right across another three cards. Make it to the big bet. You must bet at least half. $50 for a bet. You can win $65,600 if you play it right. And you get a joker just for making it to the money cards. Right. And Jay, are you ready to go? I am. Alright, Jay, we are all behind you. You can change the base card one time per line. And if the same card comes up, it's a push, meaning you do not win and you don't lose. And here's $400. And Jay, good luck to you. As I said, we are all behind you. For $400, Jay, you start off with a six. Would you like to play the six or change it with one, two, or three? I like to change it with three. All right, let's see if card number three is a good one. The six is now a ten. $50 is the minimum bet, Jay. $100 lower. All right. $100 lower than a 10. It's a 4. $500 and a 4. 200 higher. $200 higher than a 4. It's an 8. 7 plus 1. You have $700 and an 8. Now, a reminder... Now, a reminder, Jay, you have already used your change option, so you can't change for one more card. You must play this eight. All right. $100 lower. All right. $100 lower than an eight. Oh, no. It's a queen. You're down to 600 But we'll move you to the next row. Give me $900 of betting money. Jay, you have $1,500 and a queen. Hmm. And then you, and now you are allowed the option to change, though I doubt you're going to change the queen. Two hundred dollars lower. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's a pretty good card. He's going two hundred dollars lower than a queen. Oh no, it's a king. You're down to thirteen hundred. You have thirteen hundred and a king. Three hundred dollars lower. Okay, 300. Lower than a king? It's a 10. 1,600 and a 10. And I will change it with number one. All right, can we make a good change here? The 10 is now a 7. Ugh. Mm. You have 1,600, Jay, on a 7. $100 higher. $100 higher than a 7? It's an ace! Jay, you're at the big bet. You have an ace as a base card. You must bet at least $850. Do you want the ace? Yes, I do. All of it lower. Come on, for $3,400. Lower than an ace? It's a 5! Good job, Jay. $3,600 for you. But, Jay, here's the deal. You also have a chance at a $30,000 jackpot if you find a card with a dollar sign. One, two, three, four, five, six, or seven. You have one shot. Four. Okay, last time it was behind one. And, Jay, if card number four is the dollar sign, you get $30,000. Is it behind four? No. Ah, you went one too high. It was three. So our job will be worth 40 grand next time. And Jay with the one game winning total of $3,600. We'll get to face a new opponent next time. So long, everybody.